Hello again, I'm Max McGee, 8.55 a.m., 59 degrees. Marty, it's going to be a good day, pushing 70 degrees. It's not going to be a bad look, pushing 70. I mean, normal is 75, so yeah. we have to put the word cool up. But really, 70 degrees, not bad. Clouds, some sun, if we get more sun than that, well, all the better for us. It is going to be breezy, maybe a little windy at times. Take it away, Max. There are nearly 40,000 cases of coronavirus in Maryland. More than 1,900 have died. One Baltimore City family believes their 15-year-old died from COVID-19. Here's Amy Kawhi with the latest. Dariana Dyson's family says her condition deteriorated suddenly. The 15-year-old, whose family says had no pre-existing conditions, was taken to Johns Hopkins on Mother's Day. Her family is currently waiting on an autopsy. Even as parts of the state have relaxed restrictions, Baltimore City remains under a stay-at-home order. Over the weekend, police used loudspeakers to disperse large crowds. On Monday, Maryland recorded 958 new cases, 27 new deaths, and 13 fewer hospitalizations. And Baltimore police have responded to over 120 calls for illegal get togethers over the weekend. For WJZ, I'm Amy Kawada. Mayor Jack Young responds to rumors some bars and restaurants are planning to reopen this week. He says any business illegally reopening will be shut down. The opening of restaurants and bars is still prohibited, both under Governor Hogan's safer at home order and the city's stay at home order. Medical professionals are learning the severe impacts COVID-19 could have. Virus patients are losing their strength, endurance, and coordination while being hooked up to ventilators. That's why Johns Hopkins therapists are now using new technology from Switzerland to help patients with physical therapy. It's an at-home exercise to help recovering patients get their strength back. A Baltimore County police officer tests positive for COVID-19. The department says it's doing contact tracing to find anyone who may have been exposed. This brings the total number of cases in the department up to six. Five officers are back to work. Stay with WJZ. We'll have more news and weather today at noon.